Hey Packer fans, Coach Hawn here with you, Packernet.com, in the film room to take a look at some of the things the Packers can do defensively against a very potent Saints offense. Now we're going to have a little bit of a different format for this video coming up and listening to some of the feedback I got from you guys, you're asking for a little bit better video quality, a little bit better audio quality, and at times you even want to see my ugly mug in the picture. Now, I'm not exactly sure why you would want that, but I'm always more than happy to oblige. So thank you for all that feedback. Please let me know if there's anything I can do differently to make these videos a little bit better for you. Let's start with a fun little defensive formation I've seen the Packers come out with in the past. This is what I call a NASCAR package. I'm sure the Packers have a much cooler name for it. The Packers are a base 3-4 defense, meaning they have three linemen down and four linebackers behind them. In a NASCAR package, they'll take one of the defensive linemen off the field and replace him with a nickel. Okay, just an outside linebacker type of coverage type of guy. They'll then bump their two defensive tackles here and here inside into both the A-gaps, put an outside linebacker outside the tackle, put a linebacker head up on tackle and an outside linebacker outside of the tackle. What this does is allow for a five-man pressure, so you can still hold six in coverage behind it, but it also allows for five-man pressure against a six-man protection scheme. As you can see here, the offense has five offensive linemen and a running back that will be in protection. This alignment allows for the center and the guard to double-team this defensive tackle. This also defensively allows for this outside linebacker to be one-on-one -on -one with an offensive tackle, usually an athletic advantage to the linebacker, same thing over here, linebacker one-on-one -on -one with a running back, usually the aggressiveness advantage is on this linebacker. This only works if two things happen. One, these outside linebackers must maintain contain, meaning if this quarterback tries to sprint outside the pocket, they must break off of their pass rush route and maintain that quarterback and not allow him to get to the edge. Two, and probably most importantly, the defensive tackle getting double teamed must not be driven back at all, must maintain excellent separation from the two double teaming offensive linemen, and then when the quarterback cocks to throw, he must be available to get his hands up and get himself into passing lanes. A very effective front for a, a passing situation. However, if this defensive tackle doesn't get himself in passing lanes and these linebackers don't maintain contain, it can be shredded pretty easily. Let's take a look at it on game film. Great example right here, Packers Seahawks week one. Packers are going to be in their NASCAR package, bringing some edge pressure. But I want you to keep your eye on this guy right here, defensive tackle number 97, Kenny Clark. As the ball is snapped, he fights it through the double team with excellent hand placement, taking half a man, identifies the window, and gets his hand up through that passing lane before Russell Wilson has an opportunity to slip that ball through. This is a great chance for the Packers to use some of their formations and some of their players to take away those windows of smaller quarterbacks. So let's take a look now at how the Saints protect this. We'll see Saints versus Lions a little bit of a different look as the Lions are in a forefront, but the same basic principles apply for the two tackles inside. As we take a look here, the, ta the defensive tackle to the bottom of your screen right here will be one-on-one -on -one in pass pro with the left guard. This defensive tackle will be responsible for breaking the double team, pushing the pocket back, and both of them will do a great job of getting their hands up right here. The bottom defensive tackle, the right defensive tackle, will start with some hand separation and start driving that pocket backwards as his buddy up to the top of the screen will be eating the double team. Here this defensive tackle will set, get back into the passing lane with a hand up and tip that ball up. Now once that baby is in the air, we want to make sure our linebackers are doing a great job of getting underneath it, getting square, and getting a game-changing interception. Just a great opportunity for the Packers to use some different formations and different personnel looks to get some pressure on the quarterback, take away those passing lanes, and still play decent coverage behind it. Hopefully force a turnover, get a game-changing sack, really take some of the pressure off of their young offense. Again, my name is Coach Hawn. This is Packernet.com. Really appreciate you taking the time to view these videos. If you have any suggestions, any feedback, please feel free to leave a comment. And again, thank you so much for viewing.